So now I'm going to explain how the speedo actually works. So the drive from the cable comes in at this point here and that spins this part here and that's a magnet. What the magnet does is create little eddies of current in this cup here which is not attached at all. That causes drag which actually drags the cup along as the needle as the cable spins. And as it spins the cup will be dragged and will indicate a particular speed. It stops from spinning all the way around because of a little spring which I'll show you later. And just here you can see the return spring and this is the spring which will return the needle to zero once the cup has stopped spinning. So the cable turns the magnet attached to this drive shaft here which goes all the way through is a spiral screw thread here which engages with this red cog and as I turn it you should be able to see movement so I put a little dot on the red cog and as I turn it you can see the dot is moving now that cog goes through a drive to this plastic attachment here and as it turns this plastic attachment will rise up engage with this cog here and that will turn the numbers over so the cable coming in here goes through a drive shaft up to the magnet spins the magnet the cup is not attached to the drive shaft or the magnet. The cup is made of aluminium and the magnet creates eddies of current in the cup which creates drag and that will make the needle move and given a particular speed it will indicate on the gauge. This is sticking because there's something wrong with it and that's what I'm dismantling it to fix. So the next part is to detach the cup assembly with the numbers and the speedo needle from the magnet and the drive shaft. And the way that we do that is by undoing four screws, one on each of the four corners. And when you take it apart, this is the one that needs to be treated with a little bit more care because it needs to be lifted underneath the plastic lever here. So now I've removed the plastic cup, sorry the aluminium cup and you can see it's all quite delicate so be careful. Put that in there. So I'm identifying north and south, marking it on the magnet. Uh, 
I'm going to use six neodymium magnets as recommended by somebody else who's already done this job and I need to identify north and south on here So the bit that I didn't show you before is when I had the drive shaft with the magnet on the end disassembled which looks something like that. How I remagnetized it and uh, basically you take a stack of neodymium magnets, I chose six, I orientated the magnetism by placing compass over the top, found that was north, marked it. So that must be south. I did the same with the bar, finding that there's north. And now to remagnetize it, you place the southern pole on the north pole and you draw it across it. And I did it 10 times. Then I did the same with the south pole. So south goes to north on the stack of battery of magnets and that is the magnetic bar remagnetized so the speeder was under reading uh, when I had the drill at maximum speed it was just over 30 miles an hour and when I compared that with GPS speed when it was in the car, that equated to 55 miles an hour. So now I'm going to try it again after I've just remagnetized the uh, drive magnetic field bar. So according to the GPS, but when that's reading 30, it should be doing 50. So that is well within limits now. Thank you. 